The four-time Cy Young winner is 1-4 against Arizona with an ERA of 4.61 in six career starts to Turner Field for the rubber game. There is Mad Dog, fifth inning. D-backs already up three to one. One on, one out. Maddox struggling, walking Junior Spivey. Next batter, it's Luis Gonzalez. Nothing good to hit. Five walks for Maddox, bags full. Next batter, Damian Miller at the plate. Nice guy, Damian Miller, down the line. Three for five, he's hitting 302. Four RBIs for Miller. Council and Spivey would score. D-backs have five one on Maddox. After an intentional walk, loads the bases. Mark Grace to first. Wes Helms throws to second, hits the runner, goes into the outfield. Two runs would score. D-backs up seven to one, all on Maddox's resume. Two batters later, bags full. It's Tony Womack taking a bite out of the Mad Dog. Ripping it, three runs would score. Womack with a double. He was two for six. Those three RBIs hitting 267. Maddox's ERA skyrocket. Rocketing now from 0.75 to 3.78. Maddox with the worst game of his career, and of course it comes against Arizona. He gives up a career high 10 runs. So is Lieber. Wind blowing out should be perfect for Barry Bonds, right? Yeah. Oh, that may not help me, <laughs> Joe. I don't really hit good here. <laughs> First, back, Brett, Bonds, and up the ladder. John Lieber ties him up. Bonds set of Lieber. Certain pitchers just get to you. He's been getting to me since I was with Pittsburgh. Bonds strands two. Sammy Sosa, come fly with me. Fly! Up in the wind and out to right. Solo home run off Levon Hernandez. His eighth of the year, the fifth of his career off Levon. One nothing Cups. Top of the eighth. Tied at one. Lieber again gets Bonds, who is 0 for 4 on the day. More magic for Lieber. Bottom eight, we're tied at one. Two on for Delano to Shields. Gonna sneak a bouncer up the middle. Jeff Kent can't get his foot on second. By the time he gets there, DeShields can't be can't be doubled up. Joe Girardi scores. Hernandez was bummed out. 2-1 Cubs. Top nine. Runner on second for Benito Santiago against Antonio Alfonseca. Alex Gonzalez, who made that good play on Bonds earlier, gets Santiago to end the game. His fourth save for Alfonseca. Cubs win. Cubs win. They were 0-5 in one-run games, but they take this one. Sammy Sosa said the way Lieber pitches motivates me. Doesn't hurt for Sammy to face Hernandez. Sammy 15 of 39 against him. Lieber wins again at home. Meanwhile, Levon Hernandez, who had a 3-13 career mark in April prior to this year, tabbed with his first loss against four wins. He still hasn't given up more than two runs in any start. Talked about bonds against Lieber. He's been 0 for just about. He was shut down Barry since he's entered the big leagues. Bonds has only five hits and 36 career at bats against him. To put that in perspective, check out what he's done against the rest of the NL Elite. Libra has fared better against Barry than Maddox, Schilling, or Johnson. Pirates trying to sew up their first win in April in eight years with a victory against the Dodgers. That's Mike Fetters. 3-1 Pirates, top of the eighth. Fetters getting Paul LaDuca. Ball. Jack Wilson the flip to third to get the runner and Fetters enjoys that experience. Can you tell? Top of the eighth, two outs. Sean Lowe comes in. Lowe getting Mark really Rudzelanik. Right Rudzelanik 0 for 4. Kevin Young takes it himself. That ends the inning. Pirates of 3-2. And your seventh Pirate pitcher of the game, you're looking at him, Mike Williams. Ninth save and nine chances. Pirates win 3-2. The surprising Pittsburgh Pirates have won seven of their last nine. Josh Fogg put the Dodgers in one, holding them to a run over five and two thirds. Want to know why Pittsburgh leads the Central? The Buckos are eight and one to be Jake for the action. And there was a lot of that. That's going to get all the way to the wall. That's going all the way to the wall thanks to Kenny Lofton. Three RBI with that double five, nothing socks. Bottom seven now, Einar Diaz. Popping it up behind home plate. Catcher Mark Johnson will track this thing down, and this is all about the glove. Sox go on to win. White Sox outscored Cleveland 46 to 18 in winning three of the four games. John Garland, who won his third straight start, said, This kind of lets Cleveland know we're not going to roll over for anybody this year. One more good quote said Cleveland's Matt Lawton. I think right now, the way we're playing, if we played the Blue Sox, we would lose. Yikes. Jason Jombie's trip to Oakland is now done. Some folks say you're missed, and then this guy here, I don't know what he's trying to say. He's ripping, he's throwing the jersey. Sit down, relax. 
just baseball, for God's sake. Zito, Barry Zito gets Jambi to fly out to right field. Zito said, hey, we love him, but we have to hate him now because he's in a different jersey. Jambi 0 for 4 in the day. Miguel Tejada, a different story. Can I get a hand clap? He went 3 for 3 on the day. Thank you. His fifth home run of the year, his 100th of his career, spanks the moose out of the yard. We've seen this that I had good stuff and I messed it up. Top six, Yankees down 4 nothing, 2 on 1 out. Zito gets Posada, Jorge Posada, 6 4 3. Zito is geeked. He's now 14 and 5 when pitching at home. The A's, seemingly unbeatable at home a year ago, went for just the fourth time at home in the last 10 games. And Mike Nucina has dominated virtually everyone else, unbeaten in 11 starts coming in, but Oakland beats him for the fifth time in the last seven they faced him. Pedro Martinez looking like the three time Cy Young winner that he is against the Orioles Thursday. Check out, he grips his fastball. Until you show me that you're going to hit a pitch, you're going you're gonna to be seeing it. Chip Conan, he wasn't seeing the heat. Pedro gets them looking. Then gets Gary Matthews Jr. looking at the heat. And then Jay Gibbons swinging at the fastball. And here is how Pedro grips the changeup. Watch and admire. I could make it just drop pretty much, like just subtracting the velocity and adding some more height to the seam right here. Exactly like this. Ask Gary Matthews Jr. about that changeup. And here is how Pedro grips the curve. Whenever I see a little flinch, I, I just know you're not ready. <laughs> uh, Mike Bordick, that's how you flinch. You're not ready at the breaking ball. David Segui waving at the curve. Pedro, seven innings, one hit, 10 Ks, 7 nothing. Suwu Kim, Willie Banks finishing the two-hitter for Boston. Have you noticed Pedro has now given up just four earned runs? Five really first. Roberto Alomar getting things going on the base pass. Fly ball by John Valentin. Alomar will hustle to second, and he would score later to put the Mets up 1 0. Alomar, by the way, 1 for 3 with two runs scored. He's hitting 233. Top of the sixth man on third cards down by 1 6 5. Fernando Vina laying down the bond. Vina 2 for 5, 1 RBI. That scores Miguel Cairo to tie the game at 6. Money play by Vina. Still tied when pinch hitter Mark Johnson does this for the love of elevation at Shea. Mets win. Mo Vaughn contributing as well. Two for three in this game for St. Louis. The Cards ninth loss in 11 games. The Mets have now won five of their last six series. Benitez pitching the ninth, posting his sixth save in six chances. The Brewers coming to Shea Friday, but Thursday they face the Expos. A season low 3,501 fans in Montreal. They had an excuse. Canadians were playing at the Molson Center. Meanwhile, Lee Stevens does this, his fifth of the year. 2-0 Expos, 2-1 Expos. Tony Armas Jr. getting Jeff Jenkins swinging one out and then facing Jose Hernandez, no contest. That's two outs. And then Paul Baco, yeah, you get the picture. Nine Ks and six innings for Armas Jr. And then Chris Truby, not scared of heights. His second of the year, making it three to one. Expos Montreal goes on to the easy five to one win. The Expos have their first six game win streak in two years. They are eight and two on their 13 game homestand. Not bad considering nobody shows up to watch them. Pods, Phillies, Real Cormier on in relief. If you want to call it that, two on, none out. Pods trail, not anymore. Mark Katze in the right field. And Mark Sweeney, D'Angelo Jimenez, they come on around to score. Katze, two for five, three RBI. This here is a triple, and now the Pods lead 4-3. Bottom eight. Phillies trail 5-4, tying run at first. Jason Michaels, there's a line shot into the gap, and Todd Pratt, he's running as fast as he possibly can. Davey Cruz, the relay to Tom Lampkin, who wins this battle? Lampkin wins the battle, Pratt is out, Phillies still down one. Bottom nine, one on, two out. Trevor Hoffman gives Scott rolling the gas faces. Seventh save, and that's what you want out of your bullpen. Philly has lost 10 of 13, including five games where the bullpen let a lead get away. Real Cormier, who failed to retire any of the three batters he faced, said, I stunk. Larry Boa said, I've seen enough of the old guys. I'm going to give the young guys a chance. Stroh's Marlins, no score, top first. Jeff Bagwell on first, A.J. Burnett facing Lance Berkman. A little flare in the center, Preston Wilson on the case. Beautiful sliding catch. We move ahead now to the top of the seventh. Sacks jam. Berkman, Charlie Brown's Burnett. Craig Biggio comes in. We're tied at three, but Burnett got out of a bases loaded one out jam from there. Bottom seven, tied at three. I am William Wallace. Kevin Millar spanks Shane Reynolds out in a hurry. His second homer 
4-3 Marlins. Now top nine. There's Berkman again with a single. Bringing in Bagwell. He's got 26 RBI. Just Berkman is 5-4. Brandon Luper gets yanked. Vladimir Nunez, Richard Hidalgo, and Alex Gonzalez, a sweet scoop flip to Luis Castillo, and that's it, and that's all. A.J. Burnett, 125 pitches, picks up his third win. He surrendered an earned run for the first time in his last three starts. Over history, Rockies don't do well in Cincinnati. Denny Nagel on the mound, facing Juan Encarnacion, and Juan, he's built for this. That's a 454-foot shot. That's the longest of the season at Synergy Field. Encarnacion, sixth of the year. We're tied at one. We're tied at three. Bottom eight, runner on second for Ruben Mateo. The grounder, Todd Seal does that well, but he doesn't do that well. Todd Helton can dig it out. Todd Walker awarded home for Zeal's third error of the year. A victory. Twins in Tampa Bay. That's Tanya Sturts. Pulled after eight strong innings. Hal McCray opting to bring on Inestaban Yan to close it with a two to one advantage. Yan has already surrendered the tying run, and then Doug Mankiewicz does that. Randy Wynn can't get to it. Dustin Moore, no relation to Jay, would score. Here comes AJ Pierzynski to the plate, and AJ will be safe. Nice move. 4 2 Twins. Take another look. What happened here? Toby Hall blocks the plate, but. He doesn't appear to make the tag, which is the finish. Anyway, 6-2 Twins, victory. Jays, Rangers, and it was a wild one. Bottom five, tied at six. Carl Everett, Roy Halladay. Everett wins the battle. He smokes it to deep center. His fifth home run of the year. Rangers score seven in the inning. They were down in this game 6-0. Top seven, Randy Flores into the game. Bases loaded. Jays down 8-7. Felipe Lopez singles into center. Jose Cruz Jr. scores. Calvin Murray bobbles the ball. Tim Wilson scores. Flores only pitch of the game. Jays now up 9-8. Now the Rangers used five pitches in the inning, one short of a major league record. Here's Todd Van Poppel, and that's called a ball. Just in case you're interested, it looked like Todd might have been overserved. That was not the case. Bottom eight, Alex Rodriguez down the left field line. Alex said, we gave out a little bit of medicine here. We've been on the other end of a bunch of these. They come back twice to win. A-Rod, 3-RBI.